so how is it? What's the difference like? It's, it's so cool. I mean, last year we were really getting the word out to advertise the show, and even then showing the pilot, we had some really good feedback. But this year, having that base of having an audience and to have that engagement with the show is a really a, another level. And it's fun for us because we get to hear questions that are, you know, relevant to the show and questions about our characters. So it's a lot more fun this year having a more engaged audience. It's really neat. Good people fighting for questions. Yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's great. I really want to talk more too. Yeah. 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 No, there was only a few too. <laughs> it was just like we couldn't have finished 15 minutes early to like <laughs> 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 Well, we did get a sneak peek, but what can you tell us about what you do without? I know it's super secret, but. Yes. Um, you can do it, Joe. Yeah. Oh, is it me? Do you want to take it? I'm so used to Bertha taking those questions. I can take it. So do you want to try? It's okay. getting so annoying. <laughs> I'm going to take a time out. Let's hear it, Dylan. Okay, well, I would say that it starts out with a lot of uh, normal situations and everybody trying to find a way back to a normal life after everything that's happened. Um, and then uh, things get, I know we don't like to say muddled. Muddled? Is that the word? Um, well, it's just things get complicated. First of all, there's this dark thing that kind of comes after the so it's uh, pretty quick to let like, go of that idea of one things to be um, because they have to deal with it. Um, and, um, and then there are a lot of new relationships kind of lost. And we learn more about every character, which I, that's like my favorite part, because last season there was no time. But now it's like we get to find out you know, who is Willa, who is Luke, who is, who is Charlie outside of Willa. Like, what kind of lives have they led? And, and Yellow Jacket and Schumacher. Like, yeah, and Jeff. So last season it was all about getting people to remember, but now we get to kind of be like, oh, who are these other people? So, yeah, I, I like that a lot, there's some space and time to see. To get away from the whole discovery of the realm. So that's established now. So we're the people. So I like that one. Is that good? Perfect. Is she well, you get your character. I mean, there's been some tests in the past. Do you think that you know she's making the next step to earning a chance back from everyone? Yeah, I do. I mean, I think there are definitely characters that are still unsure about her. That you know, we find out more in the second season what that's about. Um, but I think we start to learn more about her. We we kind of discover that her Achilles heel. In season one, is is her sister Annabelle and protecting that, and kind of finding out what other soft spots Charlie has, and um, and I think we start to kind of break the wall a little bit in season two, which is kind of exciting. We get to learn about her past a little bit more and about her relationship with Holden um, and with other characters. Um, so so it's neat. So yes, trust issues are real. And I think more come up throughout the second season, but uh, but I think she she gets a little bit more flesh out, um, more reason to maybe trust her. Really. But we'll see. People are gonna definitely have their own opinions about the whole thing. So, are you Team Charlie yourself, or are you guys? I don't know. I don't think I trust either of them very much. I'm a little bit like, let them both go. There's a whole world out there. Um, so I don't. I don't know. What are you? What are you? Yeah, what are you? Can you reveal if I'm starting any drop? I, I don't know. Just be I, careful. I, I, I know. Um, I, I still, I mean, the way that it is, it is sort of dictated in whole life. I, I definitely see the merits of how that sort of those avenues are both so appealing and sort of. Um, presents sort of different ways that his wife wants to take him, and he sort of sees these two amazing, strong women that have sort of the past relationship with Willa and all the history, and you see the passion of the moment that goes into something like Charlie. And this season, we really do explore more into what those relationships mean to him, what path he sort of chooses to sort of go down, and what these girls mean in his life. So, you sort of will start to see him sort of once again sway from one way to another but you know he starts to sort and of how other characters are helping him dictate that and yeah. his opinions I mean you are still so young in your brain and you've got like Jeff there as kind of the big brother leader yeah 
he sort of started, exactly. He, he's open to the advice of people that he knows has more knowledge of the world than him. So he has right. like people steering him down certain paths. Yeah. yeah. Well, even his brother, I mean, yeah. technically, since Holt had been in Homeless for so long. Oh, exactly. That been. sort of older but yet younger brother sort of yeah. idea. That, and, and Luke does have more of a worldly view of what it means to be in a relationship and be in sort of an adolescent mind state. So yeah, he definitely does lend sort of knowledge to Holt as well as Jeff and as well as other sort of characters in his life to be able to figure out what he's doing. Yeah. So now that we you have guys time are, for one more question. Oh, I was just going to say, now that you guys are, um, you know, going into your second season, what do you find is um, the thing that attracts fans to the show the most? Do you get any kind of interaction with your fans to know, you know, what are the things about the show that they really like? Yeah, um, I, I would say if I could break it down and, and what I am looking forward to showing, especially the second season too, is um, one sort of diving into sort of that the abilities and what it, what it means and it sort of sets our story apart of that, that world that we created, the realm, the abilities, what it means to have that and how it manifests itself into this world that we're in. And secondly, I would say the relationships. I think that our story has really great characters, whether it be Holden, Willa, Charlie, Jeff, the Matthews family itself. So I would say that those character relationships together, whether it be love or hate, is something that I love about our story, fans love about our story. And in season two, we dive into what makes those characters the way they are and continue to see how they interact together. I think it's a, a good combination of, there is a sci-fi and some natural or whatever you want to call it aspect, but it is so intertwined with like everyday drama, uh, like normal people have to deal with. Yeah. And I think that shows the tendency to be either or. And I feel like, I personally feel like ours is a really good combination of There's like a lot of both. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank